wind southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear. Saturday, partly cloudy skies. High 73. Winds north northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. before the top of the hour on this Friday. Blowing snow on the Jersey Shore. This video was taken yesterday morning in Lavalette, New Jersey. We had an up to an inch of snow that fell in eastern New Jersey. Wow. Um, came to Philadelphia. Quick, quick burst of snow, quota snow. And uh, Cantori and I were looking at this actually. It was convective. This was instability snow showers, like a summertime thunderstorm. But instead, you got a you know wintertime snowstorm. We've got snow showers today, snow showers through the weekend, possible snow showers for your work week next week. All right, so a lot going on, Jim. I know we've got, um, of course, some snow today in eastern North Carolina, but it's next week's storm that's going to take some explaining. Uh, it really is. And it all starts with this cold Arctic air. I mean, it's already coming into the United States. Look at that, seven below. That is the current temperature. Okay, in International Falls, uh, 35 below is the coldest I could find windshield-wise right now in Langdon, North Dakota. Congratulations, you win the big prize this morning. Uh, International Falls at a robust 28 below. And speaking of robust, the best coffee I ever had was uh, in International Falls. All right, the Coffee House Cafe, I think it's called. Uh, Coffee Land Cafe, thank you, Brandon. You knew I was gonna forget that again. I'm telling you right now, they, they bring their own beans in, they roast their own beans, they pre you know, grind them, press it. It was phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. You need a jolt, head in there this morning, it'll be tremendous. By the way, 52 uh, below in Churchill, that's the kind of air that's coming on to the south, all right? So nice little chunk of cold air works its way south right across New York State and on into New England. Uh, you know that, again, we're kind of looking up at 500 millimeters, so we're up here around 17,000 feet. So at the surface, the surface high is gonna come in this fashion and work its way all the way off the east coast by the time we roll into Sunday night. Can you believe that? So thank goodness it's a quick mover. Uh, but getting there is going to cause a lot of wind, a lot of wind energy uh, to deal with. So 16 below. These are the forecast wind chills for tomorrow. Look at Roanoke at 3 right now. And remember, guys, uh, if you've got some tender plants down to the south that don't have a little snowpack on them, you may want to cover those up a little bit, uh, especially with that kind of wind, because you can actually get some tremendous wind burn uh, with some of those uh, vegetations. All right, three below Sunday morning. These are the forecast wind chills in through here. So the coldest of the air has now worked its way into the northeast. Cold Sunday morning will be the worst in the northeast. New York City, D.C., Boston, absolutely frigid temperatures. And this, of course, sets the stage under this high for the fun. Let's talk about this. Blue line, 850. Surfaced zero line. It purple. All right. So we're showing you this because we can show you transitions. If we've got freezing air at the surface north of Knoxville, but yet at 850, it is freezing all the way down to Huntsville, there's probably a, a little bit of warming going on up and through here. So you're probably having more of a sleet element than anything else. So this suggests a little ice at the least the start of the precipitation event coming up. And this is how complicated this is because as the high moves off, this layer is gonna change tremendously for so many million people. And that's really the whole forecast. Look at the high by Monday at 9 a.m. It's already off the coast and it's a strong high. So it's bringing in warm air so that surface temperature is gonna stay locked in a little bit, especially if precip is falling through it. But look at what's happening above. You see that 850 line right there? It's already above freezing north of DC, but yet it's cold all the way down through the spine of the Appalachians. So right in here, that suggests sleet and freezing rain. Woo, it's gonna be a wild ride, ladies and gentlemen. It is gonna be a wild ride. And then look at what happens to both the surface temperature and the 850 temperature, they're all, all the way back now to the Appalachians. So we've got warm, moist air Tuesday. Looks more like a rain event along the I-95. Very complex forecast and very changeable forecast. Steph, coming up. Yes, and then the 50s into the Northeast yep. by Tuesday. Speaking of temperatures, let's talk about hypothermia. And I just saw um, Leo DiCaprio in uh, Revenant yesterday, and he actually jumped into the freezing water. He ate the bison liver. Excellent movie if you want to see it. If he does not win the Oscar, I will never watch another movie again. You heard it here first. Let's talk about hypothermia. You're, the water actually can conduct heat away from your body a lot faster than the air does. Some of the symptoms, shivering numbness, also a glassy stare coming in, also weakness. These are kind of obvious things, but you're thinking in the moment, are they suffering from hypothermia or not? Well, if it's in context, then you'll know the person is suffering from hypothermia. Call 911. You want to move them to a warm place. Another thing you want to do, get 
those wet clothes off of them. They're much better uh, naked with the wet clothes off of them and you being dry and hugging them than keeping the wet clothes. That'll just keep getting the uh, temperature colder. Jen. All right, Steph. I feel like I always have hypothermia. It's cold in the studio. Um, we're coming up. We've got the boys of summer heading to spring training. What one group is doing that with that empty ballpark until baseball season arrives. You want to see something intense? New Pantene Expert gives you the most beautiful hair ever with our strongest Pro-V formula ever. Strong is beautiful. When you're living with diabetes, steady is exciting. Only Glucerna has carb steady, clinically proven to help minimize blood sugar spikes. So you stay steady ahead. Building the only trucks with the best fuel economy. Best towing, best torque, and best payload takes guts. Overcoming any obstacle, that's the glory. Get a great deal on the trucks that give you both during Ram Truck Month. Get 0% financing for 60 months, plus up to 2,000 truck month bonus cash on 2016 Ram 1500 trucks. Lowe's presents How to Find the Perfect Match. Wow, they're so perfect together. It's like they were made for each other. They were. By the experts at HGTV? Right. Now get $5 off select interior paint and primer in one via rebate at Lowe's. See me. See me. Don't stare at me. See me. See me. See me to know that psoriasis is just something that I have. I'm not contagious. See me to know that I won't stop until I find what works. Discover Cosentix, a different kind of medicine for moderate to severe plaque psoriasis, proven to help the majority of people find clear or almost clear skin. Eight out of 10 people saw 75% skin clearance at three months, while the majority saw 90% clearance. Do not use if you are allergic to Cosentix. Before starting, you should be tested for tuberculosis. An increased risk of infections and lowered ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms such as fever, sweats, chills, muscle aches, or cough, or if you have received a vaccine or plan to. If you have Crohn's disease, tell your doctor as symptoms can worsen. Serious allergic reactions may occur. See me. See me. See me on my way. Find clear skin and a clearer path forward. For a different kind of medicine, ask your dermatologist about Cosentix. Don't miss Founders Days at Pep Boys. Get five quarts of Castrol or Pennzoil conventional oil plus a Fram oil filter for only $9.99 after mail-in rebate. And when you buy three select tires, you get the fourth free instantly. Trust the boys to get you there. I am never getting married. Never. Guaranteed. It picked a beautiful ring. Thank you. Mm. We're never having kids. Mm -hmm. ah. I love it here. We are never moving to the suburbs. We are never getting one of those. We are never having another kid. I'm pregnant. I'm never letting go. For all the nevers in life, State Farm is there. Staying in rhythm. It's how I try to live. How I stay active. So I need nutrition that won't weigh me down. For the nutrition you want, without the calories you don't. Try Boost 100 calories. Each delicious snack-sized drink gives you 25 vitamins and minerals and 10 grams of protein. So it's big in nutrition and small in calories. I'm not about to swim in this lonely. Stay strong, stay active with Boost. Here we go. It's our biggest seasons ever. Starting with new episodes of Prospectors at 9 and Highway Through Hell at 10. Bam! Sundays on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 50 degrees under sunny skies. Today, sunny, high 74, winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear skies. Low, 54. Winds west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday, partly cloudy skies. High, 72. Winds north-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Good morning.
this Friday, February 12, 2016. We do have some coastal snow here into North Carolina again. This is round two in two weeks. Yeah, it'll be interesting rush hour for you in the Tidewater. We'll talk about that and then, oh, grab anything you can hold on to that's warm because you're going to need it. Bitterly cold, <laughs> dangerously cold, Steph. It's going to be like a 300 dog night. You know where that saying comes from? <laughs> I'll tell you coming up. And we have a mess as we head into our Sunday, Monday, Tuesday of next week. I'm Stephanie Abrams. I'm Jim Cantori. Good morning. Jen Carfagna, and Ernest Rodriguez, standing by. I tried to just roll that off the tongue after having a quick snack. But you know what? We're going to be talking about the coldest air of the season. Yeah. Temperatures that'll be uh, dangerously cold, actually, that not just be. the coldest air of the season. 20 below zero wind chills, 30 below zero wind chills, even more than mm -hmm. that. Let's talk about that and how it's gripping the country and especially the Midwest onto the Northeast. Yeah, we've got some 30 below wind chills already, and those are only dropping off to the Southeast. Yes. Indy, Pittsburgh, Atlanta, uh, all of you will feel it. Uh, many of you will see, even during the day, Stephanie, on Saturday, temperatures fall. Falling. Hmm. Falling as the sun is up. How about we talk about Mount Washington, where our temperatures oh, that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's our wind chills are gonna be what 70, 90 degrees below. But this is where it's all coming from. This is an Arctic plunge, not a polar. It goes polar and then it goes Arctic. It's like next level when we talk about this cold air. Diving through the Midwest, by the way, all the way down into the South Florida. Uh, Jen sent an email about Miami and the cold weather that they're, they're feeling as well. So let's go to Reagan Medji, who is along the East Coast here to talk about the sub-zero wind chills for the tri-state area. And uh, Reagan, you know, it's already pretty chilly right now in the 20s. This, though, is gonna smack us across the face. This is where you take a cab because it's just too cold for the subway. Yeah, absolutely. And the dogs, they wear their sweaters. Good morning there. Good morning. Good morning. Look at that. I mean, that's what you say. That's what you see uh, here in New York when it's so cold that even the puppies with the fur coats have a coat as well. Yeah, so uh, the real feel right now is three. Although it says 15, the real feel is three. And the real feel this weekend is going to be even colder than that. You know, today at 4 p.m., we're going into a wind chill advisory here in New York City, and that's lasting all the way till noon on Sunday. And that is going to be temperatures 20 to 25 degrees below zero. Wind gusts up to 40 miles an hour. So think about that. It's going to be Valentine's Day, so you might want to snuggle up to your honey or get a honey so you can snuggle up and be a little bit closer. Here's the skyline of Manhattan behind me. That's the East River. We're in Queens overlooking uh, Midtown Manhattan, and the sun is just about to come up, or it is coming up. And of course, you know, when you see the sun, you immediately, for me, I feel a little bit warmer. But man, is it going to be cold today in the upper 20s. This weekend, it's going to be in the teens. And Sunday is the big one. We're looking at Sunday morning. We're flirting with really, really low temperatures. One to three degrees and quite possibly could be zero. And if it reaches zero, what is that stat? In 22 years, we haven't seen zero since 1994. Guys, yes. back to you. All right, 1994. That, if you think about what you were doing in 1994, did you ever think you'd be where you are right now back in 1994? It's one of those weird things to think about. So you have no idea where you're gonna be in 22 years. Let's talk about this Arctic front. You can really see it. This is how I'm thinking about it. This is when I first saw this graphic, I thought of it as, have you ever seen a water balloon in slow motion? You kind of see it like coming down, coming out, and then it has that splat. That's essentially what it's going to be. So here is that front. So watch the colors. It's coming down. It's kind of like in slow motion. And then it goes boof here into the northeast as we head into our Saturday. Sunday morning, I think, will be the coldest of the days. And one of the reasons it's going to be so cold, the winds. So it'd be one thing if this was just stagnant air. But as we all know, you factor in the wind chill and forget about it. Winds 10, 15 miles an hour, maybe even 20 miles an hour. So today, here's a look at our highs, teens and 20s. It's definitely chilly out there. And then the morning lows are what are going to get you. I mean, tomorrow morning, Look at this. We see our temperatures below zero, single digits as we go down the I-95 corridor. These are wind chills, I should say. And then tomorrow afternoon, our wind chills are still Syracuse, well below zero. New York, D.C., you're going to be at three. So it's going to be pretty brutal. And then here it is. Our wind chills forecast for Sunday morning, Cantori, New York. Look at Boston, negative 25. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to leave a mark. Yeah. That's going to leave a mark. No question about it. Uh, check this out, guys. The water vapor image. I just noticed this. I have not seen seen this light kind of light green color on the water vapor ever. So this is the center of a very cold pool of air. Uh, of course, the water vapor representing the, the moisture content and its, and its uh, concentration. But this is, this is pretty much the Arctic jet right in through here. This is pure cold air, which is coming on down uh, right across the Great Lakes. As a matter of fact, it's already, you're already feeling it. The Arctic front has already come through parts of North Dakota, 
in Minnesota, and it's oh, it just hurts this morning. One little band of snow developed with the southwest flow over Lake Erie this morning. Of course, the lake being wide open allowed that to happen. We'll have another band this afternoon with the Arctic front, so we'll squeeze out a few inches. And speaking of squeezing out a few inches, we've got that right now. Hopkinsville, Kentucky, a fresh new inch of snow on the ground. We've had moderate snow at Bowling Green, now moving into northern Tennessee and heading toward Knoxville. I know it's Knoxville. I-75, of course, I-40 meeting right in through here. Uh, that ought to be a messy drive for you. Be careful, guys. It's getting sloppy in the Cumberland Plateau uh, as we speak. All right, all of this energy heads over toward the Outer Banks for later on this afternoon. We'll have a surface low to aid in the moisture distribution. And the temperatures are going to be cold enough, uh, just cold enough to support snow in the entire atmosphere. But really, what this depends on is how much intensity are we going to get during the rush this evening. That'll make all the difference in the world. By the way, you can see the Arctic front coming through at the same time out ahead of that intense snow squalls and just temperatures that will be plummeting behind that. Plummeting. I mean, that is the story. Tem that temperatures, is, is story. you know, just dropping, 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 dropping. And you're like, how far can the thermometer go? And it's going to keep on going. <laughs> it's starting right now in North Dakota and Minnesota, as Jim talked about, coming right into Chicago. So get ready. The coldest air of the season coming our way. I mean, that's a good look, um, but it might not be enough. We had a little bit of face showing underneath that hood. We are going to see temperatures in the single digits actually could go below zero. High temperatures are going to struggle to get above 10. The wind chill will be a factor. You know, even if the winds are only five miles per hour, you're going to knock at least 10 or 20 degrees. That last look was a good one. She had the hat pulled down almost over, over her eyes, little slit zones so that you could see, scarf up around your face. That is what you're going to need. We've got the wind chill advisories posted throughout much of Wisconsin, northern Illinois, into Iowa as well. Parts of Ohio wind chill watches are up or advisories are up there as well. Um, here's the Cold air. I mean, the heart of it is going into the Northeast, and Steph was talking about that, but we're certainly getting our fair share of Arctic air coming in through the upper Midwest, feeling it right now, right into Minnesota as temperatures drop off today. Minneapolis, you know, we may not lose a ton of degrees today, but we're not going to gain any. And then tonight, you're really going to see that drop in temperatures. Tomorrow morning, brutal cold across the region. So, numbers today look like this 10 in Minneapolis, 21 in Chicago, um, but you're going to lose degrees throughout the afternoon. Temperatures really dropping off tonight. High temperature tomorrow, only 12 in Chicago. The wind chill factor is going to be a big deal out there. You know, it's going to be quite the scene, too, with the winds. Anyone near the lakeshore, maybe you're in your car, you know, for warmth, but you want to see the view. It is going to be tremendous with those big waves coming in with the winds and the sea spray probably freezing on everything. Tomorrow morning, sub-zero temperatures. Wind chills are going to be well uh, below that. 30 minutes is the amount of time you could be outside without frostbite with conditions like this. All right, let's go coast to coast right now and see what else is happening. The winds the and the freezing temperatures making it tough for firefighters in New Jersey. Take a look at this video. They're trying to contain a fire at a 5,000 square foot warehouse. Thursday, at one point, winds gusted to more than 30 miles per hour. The billowing smoke temporarily shut down Highway 206. Officials say the lack of an upgraded fire system in the warehouse made the flames difficult to knock down. And this is incredible video. Take a look at this. An early morning water main break and below freezing temperatures left some homes, trees, and sidewalks encased in ice in northwest Pennsylvania. People in Scranton were jarred awake when the 12-inch main burst, sending water high into the air and turning streets into to rivers. It took emergency crews nearly three hours to shut off the water. Here's what else is coming up on AMHQ. The driest and hottest area in North America, but this winter, Death Valley is alive with color. Plus, it hits you to the core. A shot of snow for the Carolina coast, a record-setting bitter blast to the north, but just how cold is cold? And a weather roller coaster from warm and rain to cold and snow. How this winter festival is building up for its final weekend. AMHQ is back in 60 seconds. Currently in our area, 50 degrees under sunny skies. Today, sunny, high 74, winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear skies. Low 54, winds west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday, partly cloudy skies. High 72, winds north northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. 
Here's our seven-day outlook. Taking it into Mini, that's Minneapolis. ACDC will be playing in St. Paul on Sunday. So for those about to rock, we suggest you bundle up. It's a few degrees below zero right now. And the high today and tomorrow will be near 10. It will be just a bit warmer on Sunday, but you'll likely get one to three inches of snow on Valentine's Day. That's the hard thing. Like, you're going to this concert, you know you're going to be so sweaty in the concert hall, but you have to be bundled up for the car ride and getting there. And then you have all those gazillions of uh, layers of just really heavy jacket, or you just freeze and you're like, forget it. Um, so here we go. We do have a little touch of snow that's kind of blasted on through. You know, earlier I said it's like a 300 dog night here with all the cold air that's coming in. You know that expression, three dog night comes from when you, it was really cold out and people would sleep with their dogs around them. And so you just say it was a three dog night. That's how many dogs you needed to keep you warm. Well, it's like a 300 dog night with this thing. So this system here, well, I know, as Cantor and I were saying earlier, it's hard to say this system because, you know, we do have a couple little pieces of energy kind of popping off even right there. But something of this, which we're still trying to figure out, is going to dive down and cause our messy, messy weather Sunday, Monday, Tuesday into the East Coast. Jim and I will break that down for you at about mm, 10 minutes from now. But what I'm going to focus in is this low pressure diving down and bringing us a little bit of snow here Saturday into the Dakotas. And then Saturday night, it makes its way into Minneapolis and also portions of Iowa and also into Illinois to Sunday into um, the Midwest. And then again, this is going to continue to dive south and east. So it gets messier and it gets very, very complicated in the southeast because of the position of the high and what happens with this low when it comes ashore. So how much snow are we going to see in the Midwest? Well, you can see five to eight inches for some of us and you can see where that lake effect snow is. It's kind of easy to pick it out here. Just start looking on the map around the Great Lakes this time of year and it's super easy to see where you're going to have synoptic stuff or you're going to see lake effect snow because of the wind direction. It just kind of all piles up in those same areas. So let's take you into Minneapolis real quick. I got Friday. you. I got you. Friday. You got me. Okay, you know what I was doing. Our temperatures in Minneapolis are actually going to be warmer than they will be into the Northeast. How about St. Louis? Someone was asking about St. Louis when I was leaving work yesterday. And again, I said, they said something about flying in Monday. I said, I think by Monday it'll be out of there. It's a Sunday event for you in St. Louis. Jim. Very dry, dry snow Very dry. coming uh, for much of the Midwest and through here. Well, the cold returning to the Northeast as we've been talking about, and it's coming in with a vengeance. But comparatively speaking, how cold is cold? It's the Northeast. We've stepped away from the warmth and are bringing in more cold. Not your ordinary cold, mind you, but true bone-chilling, breath-freezing cold. It'll be cold enough for this. And this. It is absolutely frozen out here. In under 30 minutes. And even this. Sunday morning temperatures struggle to get above zero in many places. Zero equals what it feels like in your freezer. So you might want to sit in front of this. But don't worry. Spring is not that far away. You know, at least the sun will be out giving you a false sense of security. Yeah, get in the sun because you'll is feel it even that a little help? bit on your face. It'll help a little bit. All right. It's still, it's getting a little bit stronger here in February. Well, send us those pictures through the mm -hmm. weekend of you just bundled up and you can only see your eyes because we always share pictures here How on many AMH pictures too. are we going to get of the hot, hot Oh my gosh, yes. I know our meds are going to do it here at the Weather Channel. <laughs> Check out this photo that's from right. Webster, New York. This is on Lake Ontario. You can oh, see that's the sick. I got that yesterday. over yeah. the pier. That's crazy. Yeah, that's just yeah, absolutely incredible. That's so the spray, spray coming up, yeah, the spray coming up from the waves is basically instantaneously freezing and accumulating there on the pier. So awesome shot, John. Temperatures. This guy sent some great pictures, by the way. Great follow on Twitter. I guess they didn't get out of the teens yesterday. And you're going to need nope. temperatures like and that. And we're below zero with wind chills this morning. Yeah. All right, and take a look at the orange glow from this sunbeam in Oh, pillar, sun South pillar. Dakota. They call it a sun pillar. Almost looks like flame rising in the distance. So, uh, Catherine Prosev, one of our uh, wonderful weather producers, she says that in Buffalo, they're forecasting light pillars too. Yeah. This weekend. Yeah, and it has something to do with the cold mornings, uh, certainly in the low sun angle. I mean, it's really, really cool. Yeah. That, I mean, they are really cool. So you got to get them at sunrise. Yeah. Maybe if you wake up early enough, Jen, 
There, no, and there's, exactly. there's beauty in the cold, right? I mean, there's only some kind of atmosphere phenomena, some kind of, that, that you can see with cold temperatures like this. The sun pillars, um, one of them. Um, let's take a look though, um, and sun dogs another. A lot of times you get those, uh, that halo and the sun dogs in the winter. You'll have that chance this weekend. Cold is a huge story. I mean, you look at this forecast in the Northeast, and we, we can't even fit all the numbers on the map, but in between those teens for highs, there's gonna be some spots that don't get out of the single digits for high temperatures. And then on Sunday, you see our next system diving in. This is what's Steph was just talking about with this very complicated forecast coming our way. Um, what's also important to note is that temperatures are going to start to moderate by then. I mean, if you're in Lily, uh, North Dakota, we got temperatures hitting 40. So it's a quick change. I have to say it's a quick hitting um, cold, Steph. Two days of it, and then we start warming back up. Well, from Missouri to North Carolina, snow is affecting the morning commute. What you need to know before you head out the door. And later, while the Red Sox are away, others will play the Green Monster. No match for this. We check out the chilling competition on the field. And how long is it until pitchers, uh, Cantori, have to report? A week. Hey, I heard you guys can help me with fraud protection. Sure, we help with fraud protection. If there are unauthorized purchases on your Discover card, you're never held responsible. You are saying frog protection. Fraud. Frog. Fraud. I think we're on the same page. At Discover, we treat you like you'd treat you. Fraud protection. Get it at discover.com. Legend says Thor's hand made a hammer mighty. Well, in some hands, every tool becomes mighty. An all-powerful impact wrench. A supreme on-car lathe. The 4,000 ASE certified technicians of Firestone Complete Auto Pair prove the tool's only as good as the hands behind it. Firestone Complete Auto Care. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. Nexium 24 Hour is the new number one selling frequent heartburn brand in America. I hope you like it spicy. Get complete protection with the Purple Pill, a new leader in frequent heartburn. That's Nexium level protection. Zero to 60-ish in 22.5 seconds. Top speed, 82 miles per hour. Downhill. Stopping time. Yes. Car insurance quote from Safe Auto. Three minutes. A new record. When speed really matters, Safe Auto delivers. Safe Auto. Call, click, and enjoy the road ahead. My hands to myself. Whenever I try to grow out my hair, strands always break off. Can't keep my hands to myself. But now, Pantene is making my hair practically unbreakable. The new Pro-V formula micro-targets weak spots, making every inch stronger. So I can love my hair longer. Pantene. Strong is beautiful. Get even faster results with Pantene Expert, our most intensely concentrated Pro-V formula. Hey, how's it going? Hotcakes? Hotcakes. This place has hotcakes. Hotcakes. So why aren't they selling like hotcakes? With Comcast Business Internet and Wi-Fi Pro, they could be. Just add a customized message to your Wi-Fi Pro splash page, and you'll reach your customers where their eyes are already, on their devices. Order up. It's more than just Wi-Fi. It can help grow your business. You don't see that every day. Introducing Wi-Fi Pro. Wi-Fi that helps grow your business. Comcast Business. Built for business. Eczema flare-ups made me want to hide. Then I got the healing power of Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief. Specially formulated for eczema, it has the strongest non-prescription itch medicine for fast, lasting itch relief. I'm not camera shy anymore. Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief. Feel the heal. One day, it appears. Is that a dark spot? New Gold Bond Dark Spot Minimizing Cream for Body. Targeted to help fade the look of dark spots beginning in four weeks. New Gold Bond for Dark Spots in the body lotion aisle. I really want there to be a venue where people who are trying to make a difference can have a voice and have a place to talk about their passions. Weather, climate, environment, technology, science, they're the topics of our lives right now. So let's talk about it. Currently in our area, 54 degrees under sunny skies. Today, sunny, high 74, winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. 
tonight, mainly clear skies. Low, 54. Winds west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday, partly cloudy skies. High, 72. Winds north-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. about 20 minutes past the hour on this Friday. You made it to Friday, but in some spots uh, there's fog outside and we got a ground stop at Houston because yeah. of the weather and the low visibility. We've got dew points up in the 50s, temperatures in the upper 50s. So while it's not terribly, you know, cold out there, you got drone mm -hmm. issues with the fog in Houston. A little snow out there that we're tracking for you on I-70 this morning. It's not heavy, but you know, uh, even a light coating of snow will be slick. So I never want to discount snow. Yeah. So we want to take a live look at St. Louis and Indianapolis. I've been checking and just your run of the mill rush hour. Mm -hmm. No Problems. big accidents. No big accidents. All right, so that's good. You know, Indianapolis not reporting any snow right now. Temperature at 20, dew point at 8. It's a dry air in place. Mm -hmm. When the Arctic front comes through later today, okay. A, it's going to get colder, and B, um, there might be some snow squalls that come through. All so right. I-70 is one to watch. Will the snow showers make it uh, the rest of the day? We know that there's icing going on, de-icing going on in Buffalo right now. And that's going to, I think, be the norm all day long there. These snow showers that you see moving out to, through Evansville, eventually coming into Louisville, there'll be some, I think, brief accumulation. Um, you know, it's moving through quickly, but but again, temperatures are in the 20s or even teens, so okay. it's going to be a factor. All right, so we go from that and to what's happening next week. It's such a complicated pattern, guys. We need like a whole show just to talk about this. We do. Yes, but we're going to break it down for you and explain to you why it is so complicated so you can make the proper plans. And yes, we have to start in the Pacific. Yeah, that's where the energy comes from, but it's, but it's really weird. I mean, you kind of look and say, <laughs> well, okay, here's this big ridge. How does everything get through there? A piece of that goes over, a piece of this comes underneath, and they start to meet a little bit in the middle, all yeah. right? And, and that's what kind of, it, get, it gets complicated in timing in terms of where the low pressure actually develops. So you can kind of see the energy from those two systems yeah. kind of starting to blend in together a little bit uh, just once they get east of the west coast and then boom. Right, so there they are. So yep. like any good relationship, they meet in the middle and then just look at that <laughs> nice mess. Abrams. I mean, this is just a complete and utter mess. It's not like we right. have just one ball of energy. That would make our forecast so much easier. It would. <laughs> and here's the other thing too. Look at the ridging yes. that's going on. That tells me our highs moving offshore. We don't have any any cold air locked in at this point except what's left over right. from this Arctic dry air mass. So we will have several precipitation types. It's a moving target. To deal with. It is a moving target. And, and, and so many of you are going to go through so much changeable weather. So I know you're going to be on your phone and say, oh, okay, it's going to snow. All right, we're going to get some freezing rain and sleet. But a lot of you are going to get a lot of different precipitation types depending on the timing. So uh, we know we have the cold air in place Sunday night. So whatever falls will be snow more oh, than the likely. The high pressure was right yeah, offshore. Oh, okay, yeah, I just yeah. wanted you to drive over it last here. time. Right. All right, the low, show the low. Uh, here we go. We, there we go, right there. So now you've got this warm, moist air coming over the top of this old, what we call modified Arctic air mass. Mm -hmm. All right, so the air is dry initially. We're going to have to saturate it, but once we do, we'll take, we'll warm things up a little bit. We'll bring the temperature back yeah, up. A lot of bit, by All the right. way. <laughs> we're going to warm a it up a lot of bit. We're going we're to warm it up from above, too. That's the other thing, too. With this rain falling and coming in from the south, it'll actually warm from the top down. Yeah. So this has got hashtag agita all over it. All right, right, Carfagno? Uh, no, yeah. Hashtag Ajita all over this. There was a very I've, complicated, I nauseating <laughs> forecast coming up. And look at this by the time we roll into Tuesday. 50 uh, in New York on Tuesday, by the way. Yeah, I mean, look at uh, look at Interstate 95, Interstate 85 corridor here. I'm just right. absolutely all rain while we will deal with the mess and even ice over the interior of the Northeast. I think snowpack may play a role <laughs> in this, too, in terms of where we keep the ice a little bit longer. I mean, this is really complicated forecast. I think forecast. that this is an easier forecast for Tuesday than it is for that Sunday, yes. Monday yes. time when frame. when do we get the changeover? What time is that going to be? Right. So if, you're, if you've got a trip up I-95 on Monday, maybe Tuesday is the better day for that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, that's not saying the forecast can't bring the low farther to the east uh, either, but I, but I think with the high offshore, we will yeah, warm the I-95 I corridor. I'm feeling more confident about Tuesday's forecast. Yeah, uh, good, good point. You know, Jen, than well, and, and you forecast. go back to those two pieces of energy. I mean, they're still over the Pacific. Yeah, so right. there, there are still things that could change. Um, we're going to switch gears and go to the Southern Plains where it's been warm. We just hit records yesterday in Texas, Dallas. We say good morning to you. We are actually cooling down a smidge compared to yesterday because there's a little front that went on through. But it's a tiny front. It's not an Arctic front. And our temperatures in Dallas today will be about 70. We were in the mid-70s yesterday. Um, on this date, back in 1899 in Fort Worth, that's when we set our all-time record low. It was 8 
below. So it can get cold in Texas. It's not going to today though, or this weekend. We've got temperatures out there in the 50s to start your day. A lot of fog everywhere that was really warm yesterday. You've got fog this morning. Austin, Waco, you hit a record high yesterday. You got some fog this morning. Look at today. I mean, we're not record breaking, but we are awfully close. We are 80 in Houston. We are 80 in Austin and Dallas. Yes, we had that little front come through. We're only going to be 71. So we're a smidge cooler than yesterday, but just a smidge. You still barely need that jacket in the afternoon. So the warmth continues. And when you look at the trend for this forecast here in Texas, uh, we've got a warm a stretch coming ahead. We dip down closer to average and then we're right back up well above average all the way to the end of next week. Up next, more on the cold, which actually could be life-threatening cold, gripping the east with temperatures going 20 to 35 degrees below average. Here in the city, parking is hard to find. Seems like everyone drives. And those who do should switch to Geico because you could save hundreds on car insurance. Oh, perfect. Valet parking. Hello. Evening, sir. Here's the keys. And uh, go easy on my right, mate. Hmm, wouldn't mind some of that beef Wellington. To see how much you could save on car insurance, go to geico.com. Ah. Okay. You can't always protect her. Make sure her tires will. The Michelin Premier Tire with Evergrip technology. Even when half worn, it's still safe. Safe when new, safe when worn. Pure is big, bold, and just better. Pure is McCormick. The smallest pinch of Pure McCormick can make meals legendary. We want to help you realize the rich taste that Pure can bring. Because Pure tastes better. Now you can create your own tour of Italy at Olive Garden. Starting at $12.99. Choose three of ten favorites to enjoy on one plate. Plus unlimited salad and breadsticks. The best tour of Italy is the one you create at Olive Garden. had a headache, but now I don't. Excedrin is fast. In fact, for some, relief starts in just 15 minutes. Excedrin, now available in gel tabs. Moved into this? Make it look like this. Let's check out our options. Give it some style. Perfect. Now, let's detail it. Let's put our ideas to work and step into a new favorite room. Let's do this. Buy vanities in-store and online today, starting at just 139 bucks. The Home Depot, more saving, more doing. Ha! Building the only trucks with the best fuel economy, best towing, best torque, and best payload takes guts. Overcoming any obstacle, that's the glory. Get a great deal on the trucks that give you both during Ram Truck Month. Get 0% financing for 60 months, plus up to 2,000 Truck Month bonus cash on 2016 Ram 1500 trucks. From the very minute you have this idea that you want to be in business, you need to have that card. Presentation is everything because they're not only first impression of you, but now you're handing them this product that really is kind of going to define your business in their mind pretty quickly. You want a very thick uh, car that feels nice in your client's hand. I think it's nice to have a choice because sometimes you want a glossy card, but for other projects, I don't want necessarily want all that. Your business card is a reflection of you. It should say exactly what you want. With a range of design, stock, and finish options at Vistaprint, it will. Get 500 business cards starting at just $9.99. Just enter promo code TV500 at vistaprint.com. That business card, when I make a connection with someone, has to be phenomenal. It has to be elegant and invoke all the things that Diamond stands for. Just that professionalism is going to make you, as a business owner, more successful. Just right off the bat. Vistaprint.com Currently in our area, 54 degrees under sunny skies. Today, sunny, high 74, winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear skies, low 54, winds west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. 
Saturday, partly cloudy skies. High 72. Winds north northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Closed captioning brought to you by California Walnuts. What makes this the best simple dinner ever? Great tasting, heart healthy California walnuts. So simple. Get the recipes at walnuts.org. It's time for your big picture forecast, and we have a little bit of snow that's going to be popping off here in North Carolina. A little pressure. This is actually kind of like in the Midwest right now. It's going to dive quickly down, though, into uh, the Carolina-Virginia border there. And then we are going to get smacked with the coldest air that we've seen in some places since last February. We could be breaking records from the late 1900s. And then this mess. This thing is like if you're feeding your kid right now in the high chair, you remember what it was like, and they have it all over their face, they're spitting it out, it's all over their arms. That's what this system is like. Welcome back into America's Morning Headquarters for weather. It's just a straight mess. I was thinking to myself, that, that was me the other night at dinner. But um, <laughs> exactly. That's another story, though. Right. <laughs> that's another story. <laughs> it is a mess, and it's so hard to forecast when you've got low pressure and warm air moving in at the same time, how the high is retreating and warming things from that side. So it's kind of this converging of warmth, if you will, on top of cold air. All right, but before we get to that, we have this very chilly yeah, air coming into Chicago. Wind chill advisory goes in effect at midnight, lasting through early Saturday. Oh, one of the coldest live shots I've ever done, right where our good man uh, Kevin Tibbles is this, this morning from uh, NBC News. Good morning, Kevin. Uh, how is Chicago planning to keep warm with this latest blast? Did you say something like converging warmth on top of cold <laughs> air? When, when is that... <laughs> when is yeah, that part going to be a month? For us it'll out be a month. No, next week. Actually, yeah. next week they're yeah, actually going to warm up. Warm up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be standing like this if I'm still here. It's you know it's it's only about 20 degrees here right now, but that's and that's nothing for people in the Midwest, as you guys very well know. Problem is that everything seems to be going south in terms of the mercury, and uh, by tomorrow it's going to be about zero. And then, of course, they factor in that there's a wind chill warning here. That's going to put it down to your minus 15, minus 20 area, um, which means uh, people like me and uh, other people probably shouldn't be venturing too far out of doors unless they are dressed in layers and take the proper precautions. Uh, letting the dog out or the cat out, you should be careful about that too. Um, vets that we talk to actually say you should feed your pet more when it's cold because they, like us, uh, burn much more energy. And one more thing, when you're talking about burning energy, these things don't work very well in the cold either. As a matter of fact, should it get down to about minus 40, which we all hope and pray it doesn't, um, these things don't work at all. So if you are going to book that Caribbean uh, vacation, I'd be doing it prior to uh, the fact that it gets really cold. Back to you. Kevin, I don't know what's worse, negative 40 or phone not working. What do you yeah. think? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> That's great, Amy. I mean, if you had to choose, it's like, I'll take the negative 40 as I long know, as my no phone kidding. will work. You're, you know? you're so okay. right. <laughs> Let's have a look at our windshield uh, advisories here. Now, remember, a warning is worse than a watch. So that means it's going to be colder or maybe for a longer duration. Uh, that's what we are dealing with here into the Northeast. Where is it all stemming from? Well, this is Arctic stuff. There's polar stuff and then there's Arctic stuff. This is top shelf cold air, if you will. And I'm taking that from Jen yesterday. I was trying to refill the soap in the kitchen. I said, Jen, where's the soap? She's like, oh, it's way up on the top shelf. It's top shelf uh, dish detergent. And we were being dorks. Like, you guys think we're cool. That's how really cool we are. <laughs> Jen um, shit in his head. <laughs> right? Jen, Jen did say that. <laughs> so this is top shelf cold air, you if too, you will. I'm telling you. <laughs> Talk about the housewives. Uh, I, I want to see this. On all film. right. So here it comes on in. Temperatures are 20 degrees below average as we head into the day tomorrow, even 30 degrees below average in the Qs. Uh, and again, this isn't even talking about the wind chills. We're going to get to that as well. Tomorrow morning, you see those single digits by the Great Lakes. That hits us Sunday morning along the I-95 quarter, and we get even colder. So Sunday morning, we're going to be flirting with record low temperatures, so appropriate on Valentine's Day. And here are some of those records. Look at this, 1979 New York. Now we're going four. We're actually warming up a little bit here, uh, Cantori, with that record from 1916. Oh, wow, we're warm. Coming up to four. Awesome. Uh, I was just thinking maybe going to the bank on, on, in Allentown at 9 o'clock. 
Yeah. You know, and then going to run a couple errands. Yeah. It says like six on the car, on the oh, thermometer right. at the bank. Then it says two by the time you get <laughs> at noontime. You know, I mean, the temperature is going to keep dropping, so it's going to be one of those kind of things. All right, how are we going to get to one to three inches of snow in the Tidewater area in northeastern North Carolina and out to the uh, OBX? There'll be snow on the uh, outer banks of North Carolina by this afternoon. Well, here it comes, moving through Knoxville right now. Expect uh, at least an inch of snow. We've seen that for Bowling Green and Hopkinsville. All that driving southeast toward Asheville uh, and, and the beautiful mountains of North Carolina and Tennessee. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at the I-40 interchange right now in Knoxville. Roads are wet, but the snow is coming on down. Temperatures, remember, guys, are in the teens and 20s, so they've obviously done some salting there. It is rush hour in Knoxville this morning. Uh, everybody's already looking forward to college football season there. I know what's going on. All right, so here comes the upper air support. We're going to see a surface low develop and move its way off uh, to the northeast in time. Uh, really, it's going to be kind of a jump. We'll see the precip here. I don't know if we're going to get all that much across uh, the Piedmont because we'll have some sinking air here, but we'll kind of almost see the precipitation jump to the coastline and it'll start breaking out this afternoon. You'll see that right in through here about noontime or so. And it, really, it's all depending on how heavy it comes down. If it comes down heavier, Raleigh, Rocky Mount, Norfolk, the Tidewater, you're going to get accumulating snow. And unfortunately, that could be during the rush hour tonight. And then here comes that Arctic front charging toward the southeast with snow squalls. We'll be right back. We know they're a great value, but to see if Malto Meal cereal tastes as good as they claim, we have assembled a panel of experts. Spoons are up, they are mid crunch, and full thumbs! Malto Meal cereal, thumbs up on great taste. It takes a lot of work to run this business. I'm on the move all day long. And sometimes, I just don't eat the way I should. So I drink Boost to get the nutrition that I'm missing. Boost Complete Nutritional Drink has 26 essential vitamins and minerals, including calcium and vitamin D to support strong bones, and 10 grams of protein to help maintain muscle, all with a great taste. I don't plan on slowing down anytime soon. Stay strong, stay active with Boost. Now try new Boost Compact and 100 calories. At the Joseph A. Bank President's Day Sale, all suits and sport coats are on sale. Plus, buy one, get one free, including traveler suits on sale for $399. That's $199.50 each when you buy one on sale and get one free. Only at Joseph A. Bank. One Crest 3D White smile is all it takes to turn the tables. Crest 3D White toothpaste removes five times more stains than the red box. For a smile like that, Crest 3D White is the way to whiten. Lowe's presents How to Know She's the One. You were the one for me. And it comes with a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. I won't be needing that. Now get up to 25% off select major appliances, $3.96 or more at Lowe's. Really? Do I even need life insurance? Well, final expenses can be very expensive. Without insurance, the financial burden of credit card debt and funeral costs may fall to your loved ones. Makes sense, but can I afford this kind of coverage? MetLife's rates are affordable, and you can choose the amount of coverage that fits your needs and budget. I've been turned down for insurance before. How is this any different? MetLife Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance is different. In fact, you cannot be turned down for health reasons. I'd like to get life insurance. <laughs> How do I even start? It's easy. You can apply in a single phone call with no medical questions or exams. Will my rates go up as I get older? Absolutely not. This coverage lasts for life. Your rates are guaranteed to never increase for the life of the policy, and your coverage will never decrease. Guaranteed? Guaranteed? Guaranteed. Yes, guaranteed. If you're age 50 to 75, MetLife Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance offers affordable coverage designed to help with final expenses such as medical bills, credit card debt, and funeral costs. Coverage amounts range from $2,000 to $25,000. Rates start at less than $10 per month, and there are a variety of convenient payment options. And it's from MetLife. MetLife? From MetLife? That's right. Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance from MetLife. In that case... I'm going to contact MetLife. MetLife makes it easy to get coverage that's affordable and reliable. Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance can help you get the protection your family needs and the peace of mind you deserve. Call 1-800-783-8155 to learn more about Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance. That's 1-800-783-8155. 1-800-783-8155. 1-800-783-8155. We're geeking out on what's happening in weather, how it happens, and why it's so freaking cool. 
Weather Underground, weeknights at 6 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 52 degrees under fair skies. Today, sunny, high 74, winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mainly clear skies, low 54, winds west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday, partly cloudy skies, high 72, winds north-northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. For the top of the hour on this Friday, we check in on travel and say good morning to you across the, the Tennessee Valley. All right, so let's uh, go east um, to Knoxville, Chattanooga. We've been watching, the first of all, the radar, mm -hmm. and it shows snow, although it's not yet reaching the ground, as you okay. can see here. We've got county closings and delays in both places. I haven't noticed any accidents mm -hmm. because of the weather, and we were monitoring the situation on Twitter. The snow that's falling well, look at this. and yeah. sticking, it's really sticking on grassy surfaces, not on the road. And this is, you know, through, I think, lunchtime, I think you'll see more of this reaching the ground, just moistening up the atmosphere that has to happen. I mean, especially where you see some of these darker blues, this would be reaching the ground. This is about to get over to I-75, just to the south of Athens. I mean, okay. look at all these interstates and coming 40, together right 75, here. 75, 65, 24. Yeah, I mean, this this is a, a mess of interstates in one area. Um, a lot of truckers take this route as well, or these routes, I should say. So you bring some wintry weather into the region, it could be real trouble. And it's coming in through the afternoon on a Friday. Okay. So we'll be dealing with this heading east all the way to eastern North Carolina, guys. And so little uh, snow. No fall for them all the way to the beaches, maybe. What do you think? I think, uh, you know. I didn't hear what she said. We're going to deal with some snow across <laughs> I-40. I, I didn't either, but, but I'm, I'm, I love the cameras. I'm just looking at the cameras <laughs> that are above our shot right here. Yeah. Uh, I-40 there in uh, Knoxville and waiting the wet bulb in Chattanooga. Okay, so let's talk about the coast. Jen was trying to give us right, a this smooth is transition. We North totally Carolina. screwed it up, so we're going to get uh, back sorry, on Jen. track here and talk about the coastal snow. There is a winter storm warning in effect until midnight. Uh, the next system will bring a quick shot of snow into eastern North Carolina. It will. One to three inches could fall, and really, I think the accumulation on the road depends on the intensity of that. And of course, following behind that very quickly, very, very cold temperatures overnight and on into tomorrow morning. So what are they going to do about it in the OBX? Mm, all right, so let's talk These about it. These people are tough. Mm -hmm. Sam right? Walker, news director of the Outer Banks, is joining us. And Sam, do people get a kick out of this or do they hate it? Uh, they get a kick out of it. It's kind of a nice uh, change of pace considering last week we were dealing with what essentially could have been classified as a hurricane and 8 to 10 foot waves and uh, overwash on Highway 12. Well, this is more of a, we'll take this uh, with a couple inches of snow, something to go slide down Big Del Kill Devil Hill on the snow border, Jockey's Ridge tomorrow. Hey, Sam, is that erosion behind you from last week's storm? Uh, this is erosion that's been going on for years, uh, compounded by last week's storm, uh, especially just to my north, uh, where uh, there's quite a bit of overwash water standing between the highways, which is a problem here. Thankfully, two months from now, a beach nourishment project is going to start in this section of the Outer Banks, which is really going to help. They still need it in the Buxton area near the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse, where it's really still yeah. a problem. And what about clothing? Because I feel like a lot of times in the South, I mean, you just have like on a fleece. I mean, you, you know, we don't have the proper clothes in the South for this kind of stuff. No, we don't break that stuff out very often, but uh, at least some of us have our ski gear that we're probably going to be wearing this weekend yeah. just because it's going to be that daggone cold. So what do you do for Valentine's Day, Sam, on the Outer Banks when it's this cold? Oh, uh, you stay inside and watch the, watch the waves and just watch hang out. Watch the waves from the inside. Nine like months that. from now, there's going to be a lot of babies born. I think <laughs> That's so. That's right. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Sam. All Appreciate right, it. Sam. He's Thanks, doing all right. Just a little fleece. Pull I know. Over, That's what I was saying. Like his gloves. That's why I was like, he Tough. needs a few more layers there. I like that. All right. Let's have a look and see how it's going to shape out for everyone this weekend, not just the Outer Banks right. and Jen. Our very own sweetheart. Here's Jen. Who no. actually listens to us when we talk to her on like I know. a sorry about that, <laughs> Almost. I almost didn't know. Um, but no, it's a lot of staying inside. I mean, gosh, the, the chill and the snow. 
snow in, in the Outer Banks here, nothing compared to the cold that we're going to have in the Northeast and the Midwest. And we're going to feel it starting today. I mentioned this earlier, but in case you missed it, if you don't have a Valentine's present just yet, um, flannel pajamas. It is such a thoughtful gift for this weekend if you're in the East. If you're in LA, forget about it. I mean, we've got temperatures in the 80s again. We've had a week of record breaking heat out here in the West, and that continues. So that's the getaway if you want warm. Texas is going to be pretty mild as well, but cold in the East, temperatures running well below average. And then we bring in this next weather maker. Um, and so snow coming back into Minnesota. Temperatures do start rebounding though pretty quickly. I mean, look at Lily or Romeo or Love. You'll see temperatures warming up a bit on Sunday compared to where you'd be on Saturday. And that's the trend into next week. And right All right, let's talk about something that we don't often see, an amazing winter site in Death Valley National Park. And we're not talking about snow. Thanks to heavy rain and flash floods in October and more January rain, the park is alive and blooming. So the, this is uh, one of the rangers out at the National uh, Park Service. We don't have the sound bite yet, but we'll have it later on in the show. And he talks about how you really don't see these types of flowers, these patches of flowers bloom in the winter time. So often it only happens about once every decade. And that's the picture. And everyone's been geeking out about it here at the Weather Channel because you, they usually see, you know, a few blooms here and there, but never something uh, so vast. And uh, on the other side of the break, the green monster at Fenway Park finally meets its match. The Red Sox may be heading to spring training in Florida, but that's not stopping plenty of chills and thrills inside the park. We take you to Fenway next. And later, first rain and warm weather dampen this winter festival, but now it's the bitter cold. You both have a perfect driving record. Perfect. No tickets, no accidents. That is until one of you clips a food truck ruining your perfect record. Yeah. Now, you would think your insurance company would cut you some slack, right? No, your insurance rates go through the roof. Your perfect record doesn't get you anything. Anything. 